Good morning to all. Welcome to Anushit Academy. Good morning, Akhil, Jarita, Jagara, Radhika. Okay. Yesterday we had discussed part of the scientific devices and their daily uses. Okay. Today we will discuss remaining part. Come to the point. The first one, marinade compass. Marinade compass, it is a one of the scientific device. It is invented by ancient Chinese. Okay, Lu, Luo Su in the era of 206 BC. Okay, it is used to navigational instrument for finding direction. How it is used in our daily life? It is used as a navigational instrument for finding directions. And the second scientific device is microphone. Microphone invented by Emil Berliner in the year of 1876. How it is used in our daily life? It converts sound into analytical signal. How it is used? It microphone converts sound into an electrical signal. Okay, and third scientific device is microscope. Microscope, it is invented in the year of 16th century. Invented by Jacques Johnson. It is used as a magnify small objects. How it is used in our daily life? It is used as a magnify small objects. And the next scientific device is microwave oven. It is invented by Percy Spencer in the era of 1946. It is used as a heat and cooks food quickly using microwave radiation. Okay. And this next one, mobile phone. Mobile phone invented by Martin Cooper in the era of 1973. It used has a allows for communication and internal access on the go. Okay. And the next one, MRI scanner. MRI scanner invented by Raymond Damadin in the year of 1977. It is used as a medical imaging device for a visualizing the structure and a function of body. Okay. These are the uses of scientific devices. And the next one is odometer. Odometer invented by Vitruvius in the era of around 15 BC. Okay. It measures the distance traveled by vehicle. Okay. How it is used in our daily life? Odometer, it measures the distance traveled by vehicle. Okay. Good morning, Radhika. Okay. And the next scientific device is periscope. Periscope invented by Mary Dave in the era of 1854. It observes from the concealed position. How it is used in our daily life? It used as a observes from a concealed position. And the next scientific device is Personal computer. Personal computer invented by multiple contributors including Steve, Wozniak, Bill Gates. Okay. In the era of 1970s. It is used for the work, education, entertainment at home and office. How it is used in our daily life? Generally we used for this device. Personal computer for work education and entertainment okay and the next scientific device is personal stereo it is invented by sony corporation in the era 1979 it is a portable audio player for listening to music via compact castles okay how it is used it used as a portable audio player for listening to music via compact castles. And the next scientific device is phonograph. Who invented phonograph? 
phonograph invented by Thomas Edison in the era 1877. It is used as a records and a reproduces sound. How it is used? It is used as a records and reproduce sound. Okay. And the next scientific device is photometer. Photometer invented by Auguste and Louis Lumiere in the year of 19th century. It is used as a measures light intensity. How it is used? It measures light intensity. Okay. How you can measure light intensity? With the help of photometer. Okay. And the next scientific device is Potentiometer. Potentiometer invented by John Christian Pogendorf in the year of 1841. It measures electrical potential or voltage. Okay. How it is used in our daily life? Potentiometer measures electrical potential or voltage. Okay. And the next one, pyrometer. Pyrometer invented by Peter Van Muskin Bro in the era of 1738. Okay. It measures high temperatures. Okay. It measures high temperatures. Normal temperature, thermometer. Generally, we use to for measure the normal temperature, thermometer. But high temperatures are how we measure with the help of pyrometer. Okay. And the next scientific device is quartz clock. Quartz clock invented by Warren Madison J. W. Horton in the year of 1927. It keeps time using a quartz crystal. Okay, how it is used? It keeps time using quartz crystal. And the next scientific device is radar. Radar invented by Robert Watson Watt in the year of 1935. It detects objects and it determines their range, angle and velocity. Okay. We can measure object. We can use this instrument for detects objects and determine their range, angle and velocity. Okay. And the next scientific device is radio. Radio is invented by Guglielmo Marconi in the era of 1800. 95. Okay. Who invented radio? Radio invented by Guglielmo Marconi in the year of 1895. It used as a broadcast audio contact to the public. How it is used in our daily life? Radio used as a broadcast audio contact to the public. Okay. And the next scientific device is radiometer. Radiometer invented by William Crookes in the year of 1873. It measures the power of electromagnetic radiation. Okay, this scientific device concept to cover both RMS and psionic also. Okay, so we have to learn this concept. And the second, sorry, the next scientific device is rain gaze. Rain gaze invented by ancient Greeks in the year of 500 BCE. It measures the amount of liquid precipitation. How is it used in our daily life? With the help of rain gaze, we can measure the amount of liquid precipitation. Okay, we can measure precipitation. And the next scientific device is rectifier. Rectifier invented by Thomas Alva Edison. Thomas Alva Edison invented in the year of 1874. Okay, how it is used? It is used as a converts alternating current into direct current. Okay. AC current into DC current. Okay. So, rectifier invented by Thomas Alva Edison. Okay. Light bulb, light bulb invented by Thomas Alva Edison. The next scientific device is refractometer. Refractometer invented by Ernest Abbe in the year of 1869. Okay, it measures reflective index. How it is used in our daily life? With the help of refractometer, we can measure reflective index. Okay, and the next scientific device is refrigerator. Refrigerator invented by Jacob 
Perkins in the year of 1834. Okay. Who invented refrigerator? Refrigerator invented by Jacob Perkins in the year of 1834. Okay. It is used to preserve food by keeping it cool. How it is used in our daily life? It is used to preserve food for keeping it cool. Okay. And the next science, scientific device is Sarchery meter. Sarchery meter invented by Jean Baptiste Biot in the year of 1819. Okay, who invented Sarchery meter? Sarchery meter invented by Jean Baptiste Biot in the year of 1819. Okay, do you understand? It measures amount of sugar in solution. Okay, how you can measure sugar, sugar in the solution? With the help of saturometer. Okay. And the next scientific device is salinometer. Salinometer invented by William Brownrigg in the year of 1741. Okay. How it is used? If we can use this instrument for measure salt content. Okay. It measures salt content. And the next one is scanner. Scanner invented by Russell. In the year of 1957. Okay. Scanner invented in the year of 1957. It used as a device that optically scans images, printed text, and the handwriting of an object converts it to digital image. Okay. Do you understand how it is used in our daily life? It is used as a device that optically scans images. Printed text and handwritings are an object converts it to the digital image. Okay. And the next scientific device is seismograph. Seismograph invented by Zhang Heng in the era of 132 AD. Okay. Seismograph invented by John Heng and in the era of 132 AD. It measures earthquakes. Okay. How it is used in our daily life? Seismograph measures the earthquakes. And the next scientific device is self-driving car. Means driverless car. Okay. Self-driving car means driverless car. It is invented by various, for example, Vamo Uber companies in the era of 21th century. Okay. It is used as a vehicle that can sense its environment and operate without human involvement. Okay, without human environment, this instrument sense its environment and operate. Okay, and the next one is sextant. Sextant invented by John Bayard in the year of 1757. Okay, it measures the angle between two objects. Sextant. Measures the angle between two objects. And the next scientific device is smart speakers. Smart speakers invented by Nest Labs in the year of 2011. Okay. It is used as a thermostat that allows users to control home temperature via mobile devices. Okay. How it is used in our daily life? It is used as a thermostat that allows user to control home temperature via mobile devices and we can control home temperatures next one is smartphone smartphone invented by apple in the era of 2007 it combines the functionalities of phone a computer and a camera into one device okay how it is used smartphone in our daily life it is used as a combines the functionalities of phone, a computer, and a camera into one device. And the next scientific device is a spectrometer. Spectrometer invented by various persons in the era of 19th century. Spectrometer measures properties of light over a specific portion of the ultramagnetic spectrum. Okay. How it is used in our daily life? Spectrometer measures properties of light over a specific portion of ultramagnetic spectrum. And the next scientific device is spectroscope. Spectroscope invented by Gustav Kirchhoff Robert 
Bunsen in the year of 1852. It measures the properties of light. Okay, do you understand how it is used in our daily life? Spectroscope measures properties of light. And the next scientific device is the speedometer. Speedometer invented by Otto Scudge. In the year of 1902, it measures speed of vehicle. Okay, speedometer measures speed of vehicle. And the next scientific device is spirometer. Spirometer invented by Jean Charles Athen in the year of 19th century. Spirometer measures the radius of a curvature of curved surface. Okay, how it is used in our daily life? Spirometer measures radius of curvature of a curved surface. Okay, and the next one is Sigma monometer. Sigma monometer invented by Samuel Seesfried Carl Ritter von Batch in the year of 1881. Sigma meter measures blood pressure. Okay, how it is used in our daily life? With the Sigma meter measures blood pressure. And the next scientific device is stereoscope. Stereoscope invented by Charles Wheatstone in the year of 1838. It is used as a device for viewing stereoscopic pair of a separate images to create as a 3D effect. Okay, how it is used in our daily life? It is used as a device for viewing stereoscopic pair of a separate images to create a 3D effect. The next scientific device is stethoscope. It is invented by Rene Lennick in the year of 1816. Okay. It is used as an amplifying sound from the body, usually for hearing hot or a breathing sounds. Okay. How it is used in our daily life? It is amplifies the sound from our body, usually for hearing heart and a breathing sounds. And the next one is the stroboscope. Stroboscope invented by Simone von Stamfer in the year of 1832. Who invented stroboscope? Stroboscope invented by Simone von Stamfer in the year of 1832. Okay. It is measures speed or a frequency typically for rotating or a oscillating objects. Okay. And the next one is tablet. Tablet invented by Apple in the year of 2010. Portable computer with a touch screen has a primary input device. Okay. How it is used? It is used as a portable computer. We can carry this computer with the touch screen has a primary input device. And the next one is tachometer. Tachometer invented by Dietrich Nicholas Winkel in the year of 1810. It measures rotational speed of a soft or a disc. Okay, how it is used in our daily life? Tachometer measures rotational speed of a, a soft or a disc. Okay, the next scientific device is telephone. Telephone invented by Alexander Graham Bell in the year of 1876. Telephone allows audio communication between two over a long distance. In ancient days, in, they used this instrument. Okay. And the next one is teleprinter. Teleprinter invented by Frederick G. Creed in the year of 1915. Teleprinter a device used for a sending and receiving typed messages via communication channels. How it is used? It is used as a device used for sending and receiving typed messages via communication channels. Okay. And the next one is telescope. Telescope invented by Hans Lippersy in the year of 1608. Okay. It is used as a magnifies distance objects. How it is used in our daily life? Telescope magnifies the distance objects. And the next one is television. Television invented by Philo 
France work. In the year of 1967, it broadcasts audio visual content for your entertainment and news. Okay. And the next one is television remote control. Television remote control invented by Zenith Radio Corporation. This is one type of a company, not a person. Zenith Radio Corporation. In the year of 1950, television radio remote control used as a device for controlling television for distance. Okay. The next one is Tidolite. Tidolite invented by various persons in the year of 16th century. It measures horizontal and vertical angles in triangulation networks. Okay. And the next scientific device is thermometer. We know about this device. It is invented by Galileo Galilei in the year of 1592. It measures temperature. Okay. Thermometer measures temperature. And the next one is thermostat. Thermostat invented by Warren S. Johnson in the year of 1883. Okay. It used as a regulates temperature by a starting or a stopping the supply of heat. Okay. We can regulate temperature with the help of thermostat. Okay. And the next one is toaster. Toyster invented by Charles Strait in the year of 1921. It is used as a device designed to toast sliced bread by the exposing it to the radiant heat. And the next scientific device is transistor. Transistor invented by William Shockey, John Bardeet and Walter Britton. Okay. Three scientists invented transistor in the year of 1947 it amplifies or switches electronic signals and a electrical power how it is used in our daily life it amplifies or switches electronic signals and a electrical power okay and the next one is odometer or a train gauge it is invented by ancient greeks in the year of 500 bc it measures the amount of liquid precipitation over a set period of time. For example, one hour, two hour. Okay. And the next one is <coughs> sorry for that. And the next one is USB flash drive. USB flash drive invented by Trek Technology IBM. Okay. In the era of 1999. It is used as a device for storing and yet transferring data from one device to another device. Okay. And the next one is vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner invented by Jamie Spangler in the year of 1907. Okay. It is used as a device for removes dust and dirt from the floors and other surfaces. Okay. Vacuum cleaner. And the next scientific device is... Vernier Capillar. Vernier Caliper invented in the year of 1631, invented by the Perry Vernier. It measures the internet and external distances extremely accurately. Okay. And the next scientific device is virtual reality and headset. Okay. Virtual reality and headset invented by various persons in the year of 2010. Okay. It is used as a device that provides virtual reality for the wearer. And the next one is viscometer. Viscometer invented by Gabriel Lipman in the year of 1884. Viscometer measures the velocity of fluid. Sorry, viscosity of fluids. And the next scientific device is voltmeter. Voltmeter invented by John Spiegel in the year of 1820. Okay, who invented voltmeter? Voltmeter invented by John Spiegel. It measures the electrical potential or a voltage between two points. Okay, and the next scientific device is washing machine. Washing machine invented by Alva J. Fisher in the year of 1908. It is used as a device wash genre such as a clothing and a sheets 
ओके सॉरी लांड्री लांड्री सच है जो क्लोथिंग का दिस शीट्स एंड दिस नेक्स्ट वन इज वाईफाई वाईफाई इन्वेंटेड बाय वीक हेयर्स इन द ईयर ऑफ 1997 इट प्रोवाइड्स वायरलेस एक्सेस टू द इंटरनेट ओके हाउ इट इज यूज्ड इन आवर डेली लाइफ वाईफाई प्रोवाइड्स वायरलेस एक्सेस टू द इंटरनेट and the next one is word processor word processor is this is this is a one type of a software okay it is invented by ibm and in the year of 1964 okay it is used as a software applications for creating editing and formatting and printing the documents okay these are the scientific devices in our daily life we should know these scientific devices for scilab and rms both exams okay do you have any doubts in this concept akhil radhika pranit inka okay thank you to all Hello